Hello, MGTOW. Hello, men. This is Howard Dare. Thanks for stopping by. So, I am compelled to make this particular video. And this isn't a particularly easy video for me to make either. I want to apologize to MGTOW if there was any confusion regarding Howard Dare's my stance on the issue of, this is the crazy part, people, trans men inside of MGTOW. I was visiting the various live streams, and I'll visit anybody's live stream. I'll talk with anybody. This is the group that I was visiting. I wasn't impolite or harsh to them or cruel to them. I know some of them. I found the whole thing rather amusing, but there's no place for that in MGTOW. I am what's known as an objectivist. I largely follow the philosophy of Ayn Rand, which is largely a supporting of capitalism and freedom and reason and logic and a commitment to, to objective reality and to self-responsibility with the idea that the individual can be the hero in their own life, that indeed they are called upon to do so. And anything less is a self-betrayal. Now, this is just my basic overall understanding of it. Of all the videos I've made, I, I thought it would have been perfectly clear to anybody that the idea of bringing in emotionally, psychologically motivated ambitions into a rational and logical argument is such a fundamental contradiction that it can't even be entertained. That indeed, to entertain such a thing is to attack the very basis of logic, reason, rationality, the fundamental law of identity. A equals A. A is A. A thing is that thing. It is not something else. We need not entertain foolish ideas. And when people are insisting that we do entertain foolish ideas, it is not their commitment to the idea that motivates them. It is an effort to upend, to sidetrack the argument, a rational, logical argument, an objective argument aimed at coming to a sustainable idea that will sustain us into the future in an equitable way, right? I hope they don't take that word away from us, but they're working on it. The control of language. So the idea of interjecting someone's emotional, psychological, social, internal interpersonal concerns into the argument, the reason behind MGTOW is absurd and not to be entertained, not seriously. Now, I know that a lot of people do entertain things seriously, and that's on them. You know what I mean? I don't need to make judgments on other people, but I do need to remain true to the things that I believe. Everybody is entitled to their opinion, and their opinion does not have to agree with my opinion. I will listen to other people's opinions, but that doesn't mean that anything of my opinion changes. This isn't the place for jokes. I just wanted to be clear on this. Anything that clouds the issue of MGTOW, of a man going his own way, of a man being true to his principles, to his values that he has evaluated by his own means. Anything that corrupts that, anything that takes away from the basic premise of A equals A, yes, it is the enemy. It has no place. It's as if somebody were to say how they feel about mathematics. That's fine. They can have their feelings, but their feelings have nothing to do with mathematics. And let's say that you or I love mathematics. We've dedicated our life to the pursuit of mathematics. And somebody appears to be making a joke of it. Yes, this is a trigger. It could cause somebody to be upset. But 
this this goes into a deeper idea of you know mental self control. You don't know what other people are thinking. You don't know why people are doing what they're doing. You just don't. We don't. So you could be trying to sleep late at night. Another person could be making a whole bunch of noise, and you could be like, "That isn't right. I don't appreciate that. You're being disrespectful." But then you find out they're talking in their sleep. You find out that they've got a bad kidney and they're moaning and groaning. You find out that something's wrong and they're weeping. You don't know. Like you assume, we always assume, not we always assume, but sometimes we assume the things that annoy us that we don't agree with, that people are doing them simply to annoy us because that's not always the case. It's really not, you know, and there's no reason for a person to make themselves upset and assume that everything that happens around them is like against them. So a hundred things happen in your day. You take all of them personally, but the truth is 99 of them, nah, they didn't even know your name. They didn't care. So that's something to avoid as well. You know, these these are fundamental stoic principles that I think serve a man very, very well. So just to be clear, I do not think that the transsexuals have much of have any place in the idea and the conversation and the discussion of MGTOW. I don't think they have any place in, you know, women's sports either. And the idea that I would have a conversation with somebody about sexual body parts, you know, being incorrectly formed and that they would still wish to suggest that, you know, a man is a woman, somebody with XY chromosomes is a woman. It's the same idea. They're, They're being so foolish. They might believe it. They might not, but they're being so foolish. They're, they're suggesting something so contrary to basic logic, A equals A, that to entertain it is absurdity. It's like, how do you feel about mathematics? How do you feel about the altitude of the plane? These are not subjective questions. So the idea of trans men in MGTOW, it, I disagree with it. I, I do not approve of that. I'm not going to mistreat anybody, be abusive towards anybody, but I do want to be clear on that. And I hope you understand how this applies to a greater area of uh, reality and how we look at the world. I just wanted to put that out there. Let me know what you think about this. It's an important subject, right? Because it's not just here in MGTOW, although it's here in MGTOW, it is a societal and cultural issue. How do you feel about, you know, a female secret service agent that isn't equipped to do the job? You know, it's her turn to do the job and everybody's equal. So she demands that she gets the job. How do you feel about somebody who isn't qualified to lead stepping up and saying, I want to be the leader of the free world? That's their suggestion. That's what's at the core of the issue. But I know that I am committed to an objective, logical, rational, reasonable discussion about these subjects and that there is a requirement that we don't interject this kind of foolishness into things. Now, when I'm interacting with people I know that they're not applying this kind of rigor and discipline to what they say. And truth is, neither am I. Sometimes I get upset or I might say something. That's true also. But I hope this helps clarify where I, Howard Dare, stand, because I think it's important that you guys understand. This is not a joke to me. I just wanted to put this out there. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, donate. And join me again, Howard Dare, as I plan to have more content for you. Thank you, MGTOW.